Wow, what a week. Holy smokes. Soon you'll be able to tell your kids about how the United States dollar was once the strongest currency in the world, and you were there to watch it all fall into ruin in the spring of 2023. Our warning the collapse of another American bank could lead to a credit crunch and an economic slowdown. As banks collapsed all around you and how you had to pull your money out of your local banks and put it into gold and silver and real estate just to protect your family. How the president of Ukraine just met yesterday with BlackRock. Yes, the largest largest asset manager in the world as this war has helped them add nine trillion to their balance sheets. Yeah, BlackRock now owns over 30 percent of Ukraine. You don't think this was all planned? What a clown world we are living in. This weekend, gold hit a brand new record high as people freak out about government currencies, which are, of course, tanking. And this week, we entered the most dangerous period yet, with economists saying this could be worse than the Great Depression or the financial crisis of 2008. Inflation is going to get worse, and so is the current financial crisis. And nobody wants to admit we're in a financial crisis. It is worse than the one we had in 2008. It's just getting started. Friday was a bloodbath for the U.S. dollar, and we're going to get into all of the latest important news that you need to know about just in a minute here. But first, you'll also be able to tell your kids that you were there when they took away the paper dollar and coins in favor of a U.S. digital currency. And you'd be correct because 50 days from now, the United States dollar changes forever. That's right, in July. And just three weeks ago, the U.S. Federal Reserve started the process, the rollout of this new central bank digital U.S. dollar. The full rollout happens in July. So guess what? On July 4th, on Independence Day, we can celebrate losing our freedom. This is not hyperbole. Your freedom to use cash the way you want to is going to change forever, just like what Europe did a few weeks ago, making it illegal to spend cash over $1,000 or 1,000 euros. You can't use 1,000 euros to pay cash. Maybe you want to get some trees removed in your yard and you want to pay the gardener to do that. You can't pay him in cash anymore. Can you imagine? Think that's fake news? Here's the head of the European Central Bank, Christine Lagarde, explaining it. No, the problem is they don't want to be controlled. Uh, they don't want to... Uh... Yeah, but you know what? You know what? Now we have in Europe this threshold above 1,000 euros, you cannot pay cash. If you do, mm -hmm. you are on the gray market. So you take mm -hmm. your risk. You get caught, you are fined, or you go in jail. So no biggie, you can't spend your own money without the government tracking you and you can go to jail for it. In the United States, it's called the Fed Now program and it'll replace paper currency, which this week became even more worthless. It'll move the United States to a cashless society, a total surveillance state where every transaction will be tracked. Whereas the Fed describes it, money that's in your account can even expire and become unusable. Just like that Olive Garden gift card that you got that one time that you never used. One day you go to buy some bottomless breadsticks and pasta and the gift card won't work. Expired. Where'd that money go? It's gone. You can read how the Fed actually plans to use expiring money right on the Fed's website. China's already doing it. And the World Economic Forum billionaires have repeatedly said they want to model the banking system and the surveillance state after what China is doing. So we have to define how the world should look like which we want to come out of this transformation period. Mm. I uh, respect uh, China's achievements, which are tremendous over the last uh, over 40 years. I think it's um, a role model for many countries. There's a level of uh, 